All right, so I downloaded the iOS 14.3 beta for the public release. So what I did, I took a couple of photos around the house with the new Apple Pro Raw feature. And I'm just going to go through a couple. So I took a pretty wide range of shots. Now let's go back. So what you're seeing right here, right now, in the library tab of Lightroom Classic is known as an embedded preview. Now I don't know exactly what the embedded preview means, I think it's just a low quality preview of your image, just so you can sort through them more quickly. But what I'm finding is the embedded preview versus the DNG are different slightly but quite significantly different so this is what the actual raw photo looks like now when you're on your phone this is the image that you're seeing you're seeing the embedded preview or maybe a jpeg preview of your photo now this version of the photo has some kind of automation going on which tries to balance out all the lights and Honestly, I'm not too huge of a fan and let me go to the picture of the BMW right here so you can see what I mean So this is the raw The raw photo right here now if I go to the library you see what it does and Shooting raw for many many years on my DSLR. I much rather have the DNG or the CR2 file as my starting place. I'd rather have that as a reference and I don't know why it just defaults to this mess of a photo um, when you're first looking at it because that that's not that's not the raw file like it's obviously that there was some manipulation going on there this is where you actually have to start and make your edits from so let's go through them again but this time using only the DNG and here I'll even zoom into a couple so you can see the quality and honestly I'm really really impressed and I'm really I'm glad that we have the ability to take these raw photos and be able to make more changes than we were able to before because before when you shot with the iPhone it would automatically apply this sharpening effect and it would automatically like try to fix the noise and it made it rather obvious that that was going on and I wasn't always satisfied with the results so now we have full control it does just no none of that post-processing nonsense like we have full control of all the aspects of our photos and this is it's really impressive image quality especially especially coming from the 12 Pro Max but compared to actual DSLR shots, like there is just so much more information in a 24 megapixel photo with the large sensor, even a crop sensor. I mean, basically any sensor that you find in a purpose-built camera is going to be many, many times larger than anything you're going to find in an iPhone or a GoPro. So you're going to have way more information to pull from that. But the fact that we're getting these really crisp and large photos with tons of detail in them from the iPhone it's it's pretty cool and this was slightly edited as you can see on the side here I'm gonna zoom into that I mean like I took an image very similar to this a couple of days ago on my DSLR camera and I, I'm still gonna say like it's not as good as the one in the DSLR because DSLRs, you can swap lenses, but it's very, very impressive. So that's just a little look at the RAW coming from the iPhone 12 Pro Max. And let me know if you want me to make any videos similar to this. But until then, thank you for watching.